And um, with me in studio now is the Budalangi Member of Parliament, Rafael Wanjala. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank I just you. want to read to you um, the reactions from our viewers following um, this story and also in reaction um, to your argument um, with the report that um, we heard there from Sylvia Chebet. Somebody here is saying that, uh, Mr. Wanjala, you can only fit in King Mswati's kingdom. What have you been feeding them on when you were out of Parliament? Somebody here is saying MPs should not be selfish. Nurses of Kenya have been on the streets since June and are told there is no money. Are you for real? Let me read one more for that. Most voters don't even have insurance. They are the taxpayers. They shouldn't be forced to pay MPs salaries, sitting allowances, and a bonus for the this is quote unquote sexual immoral lives afforded by the obscene cash their employer the voter should hold a referendum to be able to remove greedy members of parliament in seven days and not after five years this is a voter uh mr wanjala the viewers are offended by your call not you not just you but your fellow legislators to ask for more money particularly for these additional families what is your response to um this very furious response from our viewers uh, uh thank you uh, muli uh, first of all i want to thank uh, those viewers for their comments uh, their comments are coming as a result of misinformation that was given to them by you you know the media you take things out of context you are not objective and whatever we are talking about today equally affects you and we are not i'm not only talking that it's only members of parliament who are polygamous kenyans are polygamous <laughs> all these men are polygamous you have seen it whether in Ukamban, where you come from, you have seen it in Central Province. Any man who is being buried, you saw it even with Olenti Mama. These people have families, but they tend to live in pretense. And now that you told them about the girlfriends, you call our second wives additional families. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you, Muli, who says that... Uh, a man who is a monogamous cannot have 10 children from one mother. In my understanding, the, the, the wife that is recognized is that that is recognized by the law. But here, and this is a quote from you yesterday, you are quoted as saying, in the 10th parliament, this parliament was covering our many wives and girlfriends. And therefore, um, maybe just to clear the air on what exactly is a wife and what is a girlfriend, because the taxpayer does not want to be paying for your girlfriend's upkeep. Let me tell you that this constitution allows polygamy. And this constitution allows marriages under different, uh, uh, you know, we have mar you can marry through church, you can marry if you are a Muslim through mosque, you can marry traditionally according to your culture. Now, in most of Kenyan cultures, they marry more than one wife. It's allowed in the constitution, and even attorney general has told all people who are married to second, third wives to go for marriage certificates for each one of them. So how do you call them their additional? So we're living in times of a ballooning wage bill. The SRC is working to cut the wage bill. You have been limited um, to one spouse and four children below 25. Mm -hmm. And I just want to give you the figures here. Um, you've been given 10 million inpatient cover per family, 300,000 for outpatient cover, 150,000 for maternity, and 75,000 for dental. Surely this is sufficient. Let me tell you this. That this family you are calling additional, I've told you that even a, 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 a monogamous, Somebody with one wife can have 10 children from one wife. Mm -hmm. Now, if you limit him to four, you are limiting that person to four. Mm -hmm. Where will he take the six? What are the qualifications of one becoming a member of parliament? And this law is very clear. 
how these people are protected. How many wives do you have, Moshimio? No, don't, don't, don't worry no, about it. I just, I just, no, I just no, want no, no, to put no. how this many conversation into context. How many husbands do you have? I have one. <laughs> I have one. How many wives you, do you, you have? You may have one at that time, but you may have had others. But because marriages break, so me, I've told you, I have How wives. many wives do you have? No, don't worry. So I, you're not giving us a specific I, figure? Yes, I'll only give when they accept my nini. Uh, 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 my to cover and what they will they done. accept your what? Uh, well, why should I give my the number of my wife here? Uh, my wife's here on the TV. Okay, I've uh, said I'm a polygamous. polygamous. Anytime you are more than one wife, if you have two, you're a polygamous. Uh -huh. You have three, you're a polygamous. You also say that children born out of wedlock should be included in that cover. You see, those are the things I'm saying that are misinforming. Uh -huh. That is misinformation. Even you heard me saying there uh -huh. on the TV. You know, these kids you see on the streets, they belong to these men you see in suits and the ties. And they belong to these women you see in the bus. Even right now as we are talking, you know today is a Friday. Uh -huh. Go to all these bus. All the men you find there with women, are they their wives? I, d I don't really know. I'm you, you see, you don't know. If you are not here, you would be among them. No, no, that, let's, let's not go there. Let's not yes. narrow this conversation down yes. to me. Let's, this is not about me. This is about the fact that Kenyans are furious. You've been in the political cold for 10 years, uh, Moshimi Wanjala. You're back now, and the first thing you're lobbying for is that your extra women are covered for in... In, in your insurance cover, are catered for in your insurance cover. I, not... Surely the people of Budalangi, those that don't have insurance cover, would have expected you to first of all look into their interests, having uh, brought you back. And this is my question. It's not that I'm only asking for myself. I'm asking for all those people who are civil servants. You're asking for members of Wait, parliament not and only other that. public... Uh, not only that, mm -hmm. but that was the forum. And I went further and said, mm -hmm. even we are asking for NHIF, for the people, elder people in the villages. And in our place, the men have more than one wife. Why are you going to limit me that I will be only enrolling one wife of that old man with his five, three, four old women that I only enroll one? I'll be enrolling all of them. And people must be, I want to tell them to celebrate that I will enroll each one of them. Uh -huh. Because they have not committed any offense from time immemorial, as Africans, we live with more than one wife as men. And even not, in, not all men. In fact, there are men mm, who are writing in here. They are cheating you. They have one they wife. They are cheating you. Tomorrow, let them die. And let, let, let me tell you this. You come from a village. Am I right? Yes. Have you seen one bull against uh, one cow? But we're talking about human no, no, beings. Yes. But that's how God created us. The way he created uh, human beings... He also created animals uh -huh. that one man serves more than one woman. Okay. And all these men are cheating you. So you, you said um, in the report um, with Sylvia Chebet that you believe that 90% of your fellow legislators are polygamous? Yes. Yes, but they live in a lie. They live in pretense. Each one of them die and go home. Uh -huh. Go to that funeral. You saw Tieno Kajuangis? But let me tell you, even Uhuru Kenyatta, the mother is a fourth wife. Obama, the mother is a third wife. Let me tell you, the leaders come from polygamous family. Uh -huh. So just away from this, you also um, are talking about um, a return of your five million car grant. Again, um, aren't you concerned that this is a heavy burden for the Monanchi? Please, they are just diverting this issue. I never talked about car loans or salary. I'm talking about covering these women. And I've said, even these Kewapo women, the Kenya, uh, 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 Kenya the new parliamentary women, mm -hmm. caucus, I'm writing to them. They promised those women they will defend them in the village. Those women who are in polygamous marriages voted for these 47 women. But they are not coming up to pick up their issue. Instead, they are, they are keeping quiet. We want all these women to be protected, and the state must protect. And that's why I'm saying, even this lady, Sarah Serem, she may be doing her job good, but she may also look at, at the constitution, how it protects also other people. You don't discriminate somebody because of her marital 
status. Mm -hmm. So if you are telling me all my two wives were looking votes for me. Well, you know what? I, I just want to take you back to saying that your fellow legislators are polygamous, but they lie about it. If surely you are polygamous, then you should be in a position to actually say, like you have come out yes. and said that you're polygamous. Yes. And therefore, the fact that they've not come out to say yes. they're polygamous means that they, are, in fact, are not. Then why do you think they were applauding me? Because maybe it was comic relief. It is not comic. It is really. All these men, it is really. Mm -hmm. You have heard even the leaders of, of the, the names of leaders being mentioned to be having clandestine movements. Okay. Talking about clandestine movements, somebody here is saying marrying many wives is the responsibility of the member of parliament. That burden should not be placed on the taxpayers' contributions. When he married them, he should have known where to get money to take care of them. True, and I have been living with them even when I was out of parliament and they were on medical cards. But now that the parliament is supposed is, is, a, is a, a privilege I'm supposed to get from parliament, mm -hmm. I expect the parliament to do mm -hmm. the right thing. Do you actually believe the taxpayer um, will um, actually um, continue to pay taxes? Um, because somebody here is saying, Rafael Wanjala is asking the taxpayers to action what we threatened to do about the last parliament's excesses. We boycott paying taxes, period. They should share what is approved by SRC among their liabilities that you should work within that is what, what the they would have done is. i have no problem in that mm -hmm. i have no problem in that but you see they put it together and said it's one wife it's four children so you would have asked members of parliament mm -hmm. now look here this is the amount of man 10 million each one of you you have one child you have one wife this is 10 million mm -hmm. you have more this is 10 million mm -hmm. then it is spread Mm -hmm. among us but they don't give you a condition what about the insurance companies themselves Moshimiwa? the accepted standard by all insurance companies is one wife four children of your choice then period. they are violating the constitution so somebody is saying and i believe this is an insurer he's saying let Moshimiwa make alternative arrangements for his other wives and, so will that? and actually the women are very offended you can imagine uh for those women for instance uh for for, for a wife who doesn't know of her husband's other wives how this would not marry well at all that is why they must tell their wives that is why i'm telling you they live in a lie in a pretense you want to subject your family when you die to subject your family into uh, into problems mm -hmm. and whatever scandals and whatever they must know my children must know the other children mm -hmm. my wife must be talking to another wife mm -hmm. so why should i keep uh, uh, dangerous cards under the uh, under the table mm -hmm. Well, um, let's um, also talk about the fact that you are in the political cold for 10 years. You have now make a comeback, made a comeback after beating your political opponent, Ababu Namwamba. Um, your vision for the people of Budalangi, um, who are, of course, um, a bit surprised that this is the first thing they're hearing from you, which seems to be a bit selfish, because this is lobbying for your own interest as far as they're concerned. Uh, it is, I'm not lobbying for my own interest. I'm lobbying for the interest of all Kenya, even those ones in other departments, other ministries, including those nani people who are working elderly in Budalangi. I've been out in the cold years for 10 years. And if you went in the village and saw how people are dying, how hospitals have no medicine and whatever, it is pathetic. Therefore, we must give them NHIF cards. And we are not going to discriminate. It will not matter how many women you are married to. So long as there are people in Ibudalangi who are elderly and according to the age we have put, they will get those cuts. Mm -hmm. And we will give them through CDF. Because they are suffering. We need them to access. Okay, so let's talk about, I mean, you, uh, there's a lot of issues that were raised here, including the 5 million car grant. Um, you, you, there was talk of other allowances for you. Are you saying that you're only zeroing in on the issue of medical cover? Exactly. But you see, for the media, because they want to play to the public, they want to demonize uh, good issues, uh, they want to demonize everybody, look very bad, even if somebody is coming up with a serious idea. You know, the way we want to pretend that, oh, we were monogamous. The Wazungus cheated us, they are monogamous. They, we, we fell into their trap that we marry one wife. Mm -hmm. Today they are telling us a woman should marry a fellow woman. A man should marry a fellow man. It is coming to Kenya. So why do you want to demonize polygamy when I'm marrying another woman? So do you intend to marry more women? Well, if, 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 if need be.
<laughs> if so. need be, but at the moment there's no need. Okay. Um, but once they say... There are those here that actually agree with you. Um, somebody here is saying, I totally agree with Honorable Wanjala. Look, a family member must be protected even if it is a second wife. Kenya has many women. That's one man can marry another one with equal privileges. What is wrong yes. when... written here when a man marries um other women um okay so we're we're going to begin winding up this conversation um uh, people are asking and and you know you, feel free to answer or not to yes, answer this question I will. people are curious about and um, the last time we saw you in the limelight was with the akini saga and people are asking how she is you know now uh, uh if they want to see her they will see her they don't need to wait for me to ask you know uh, what we see in the social media and so on and so on, even about you and other people, they should not be brought here. That Those are normal things. Uh -huh. she, Akinyi was, is a woman. She, even if she divorces, she has a right to get another man. Uh -huh. So why should people demonize her? <laughs> so she... And they should not wait for me to come on the on the national media here and they start asking me about a kid you know that's not their business okay they can also ask you for their girlfriends wherever they are well fine. <laughs> so finally very briefly your recommendations to the src around this comprehensive insurance cover that you are asking they consider for um your other wife yeah i wish you gave me time to read for kenyans what is written in this constitution about polygamy about, you can summarize about the it. rights. Mm -hmm. I will not summarize. Yeah. They, you know, when you summarize, people miss the point. You need to read everything for Kenyans to understand where we are coming from. You know, this being uh, populism is what brought us to the problem we are today. You know, we are running into a crisis because of election. We said we should have our elections in December. But because of media portraying members of parliament as uh, if they are demons, they insisted we have it in August. Now here we are in August, we are in a crisis. We are saying we have the election, they are saying, you know, uh, pupils, will be, pupils and students will be doing their examination. You see where we are now? It's because of people. But if we agreed we do it in December, uh -huh. we will not be having without, a problem. Our topic, now, yeah. we, the, this topic, the way people are taking it out of context, is because they want to make, some of them want to police their wives that you know this man is very bad he's talking very badly but yet he's keeping another woman elsewhere the day he dies this is when these women land in problems uh -huh. so let's do things above board and if you give me a chance to read for kenyans what's written in this constitution the constitution of 2010 they will know where we are coming from and they will know why gitu muigai said that each one of any wife married must get a tight, uh, 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 must get a marriage certificate uh -huh. from his office. Well, whether this will ever see light of day? No, it are... is there. No, I'm, not, I'm just talking about your recommendations here to the SRC. No, no, to SRC, the whether lady this will ever just see light come of back day. Yeah. and read the constitution. Uh -huh. And I will also write to women caucus, uh -huh. parliamentary women caucus, that they take up this issue. Because those women who voted for them are in the village, and they promised, they said, we men, we don't defend women. Now, this is what they are supposed to be doing. If they do, don't do, some Kenyans will go to court. Some Kenyans will go to court. It might not be Wanjala, uh -huh. but other Kenyans will go to court. Kenyan men that are polygamous like yourself. They might not even be Kenyan men. They might be Kenyan women uh -huh. who are married as second or third wives. Yeah. Um, and, and I have told you that if Kenyatta did not marry a fourth wife, we would not be having President Uhuru Kenyatta. Uh -huh. If Obama did not marry uh, 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 the lady in America as a third wife, the Americans would not have had Obama presidency. So don't demonize. Demonize those people who are ma men who are going for fellow men, women who are going for fellow women. But not polygamous. Not right? polygamous. This is our culture and we have come up, we have grown with it, and it is there to stay. That is why it was put in this constitution. Those are your thoughts. Um, and Not course, my thoughts. You are, you they are, are enshrined in this opinion. constitution. Okay. Thank you very much for finding time to be with us in studio this evening. We've been talking to Rafael Wanjala, who's the Budalangi Member of Parliament. Please continue sending in um, your comments on, you know, and your reactions to our conversation this evening. We're back with the day's sports. Don't go away.